All right, yo, what is up, guys? So we've got a new build of heroes with that new ban list. This deck is actually really awesome. So let's go ahead and activate this just in case he decides to go ahead and stop this. I also do want to mention it is technically not that bad of an idea sometimes to actually go from Melanie Mize turn one, but because it's not a warrior, it doesn't really work out all the time. So I'm just playing Thousand Eyes Restrict. Let's go ahead and get started with the play. I'm also doing that to see if the bar goes down, to see if he has any hand traps. It's a uh, high IQ plays, but with the new ban list with triple uh, Mally, oh dude, this deck is absolutely insane. This is a new God Hero deck utilizing that new ban list. Uh, it's just so so amazing. Now I do want to also mention one thing that's really cool is because Mally is a higher level, it works obviously really well with uh, Adjuster Gold for your. Um, Malicious Bane over here, but what we're gonna go ahead and actually do since we have the Curse Bamboo Store, we'll go ahead and slam this thing down onto Mally because I'm gonna make that card go to the grave, and then we're gonna get some free pluses over here. Very nice, very nice. Uh, this is pretty much gonna be a wombo combo turn one. I win the game, uh, sort of a play. Uh, this is the new heroes. I really feel like the new bandless heroes are going to be so good. So uh, we're gonna be able to add any hero. Uh, I used to go for Roland here, uh, cause Roland will search out gear free later on down the line. Anyways, hope this guy won't leave. So I gotta try to explain what I'm doing here uh, at the same time. So we're gonna go ahead and add um, this card over here. We're gonna go ahead and add the other one uh, later on anyways, so it doesn't really matter. So we're gonna activate that effect, go for four, and you guys already know what's gonna happen. So Phoenix Blade going to the grave, Living Fossil, this card, and this card also going to the grave. I actually like Moon Mirror Shield the most, because I feel like if you really need to come back, it's probably one of the best options. You know what I've also noticed? In almost every one of my hero videos, I never draw double Shadow Mist. Like, I never draw, I just get so lucky. Uh, but I do play two copies of it, just in case I draw one. But yo, maybe I could go with that Heart of the Cards, and uh, we'll be okay. So we're gonna go ahead and add Golden Bamboo Sword, and this is gonna allow us to have an equip. And I wanna actually uh, activate this uh, Broken Bamboo Sword on this card, because this card has potential to maybe survive, because it doesn't do anything anyways, right? So we're gonna go ahead and get uh, the effect of Pot of Green. It's a pretty good card. And at this point, uh, oh gosh, I got Moon Mirror Shield too. This is kind of dirty. <laughs> you know what is actually really insane? So we're gonna go ahead and actually utilize Instant Fusion here. And this is actually a really good way to utilize this card. And we're gonna go Instant Fusion, Thousand Eyes Restrict, and uh, now we can go ahead and make an Apollosa and have extra negates. Uh, this is a pretty fantastic card. And we good. And so now at this point we have extra negates and I can actually, um, I don't want to Mally yet. So as long as we happen to have uh, at least one Mally because that extra one Mally makes a huge difference in the game. So we're gonna go ahead and Phoenix Blade just so we can have an extra one. Like I said, the only card that's important to keep is Mally in the graveyard, at least as of right now. And at this point, we've got uh, Super Poly, we've got Mass Change. I always set this card as uh, a bluff. Um, I can also technically just activate this and uh, beef up this boy over here, and we're good. I still have a Mally, don't forget that. If I really need to go for like another, like, another play later down the line, we're good to go. So we're gonna go ahead and end right now, and pretty much... I mean, I know I could Dark Calling, but I really feel like there's there's very little ways that this guy will OTK me. But, you know, Yu-Gi-Oh! It is a crazy game sometimes, so you never know. But, uh, honestly, the new heroes with the Triple Valley is, is, is Triple Valley, Triple Super Poly. I'm also teching out uh, a bunch of other cards, which uh, I will show you guys later down the line. Uh, which basically, if your life points are lower, which Instant Fusion does, there's, uh, Hero Lives in the deck. But with the new ban list, we're able to also utilize our Perform Pal pop-up. Uh, quite well. Oh, so he's using uh, the Mothman over here. I'm gonna go ahead and uh, go for this, and uh, gonna activate that as well. And uh, we're gonna go ahead and summon the Dank Law. And you guys already know, once this card comes out, it's is not too fun for our opponent. Ripperoni Jackalope. Let's go ahead and draw a card. Jackalope. And uh, we're gonna go ahead and get those effects and this effect. So get both those effects. And uh, Dark Law will also get his effect, and we do not need to Super Poly. And we can technically protect our card a little bit with that. Ooh, rip the graph of Dark World, the dangers. All right. So uh, Honest Neos is is a great card to add at this point because I don't want to get OTK'd. But I think I'm pretty safe with Moon Mirror Shield, this, Super Poly. Uh, Phoenix Blade is just there as a bluff, which is <laughs> uh, another good card that you can just have as a, just a discard outlet if there's any, like, you know, obviously Phoenix. Great stuff indeed. And... Uh, Again, we have three negates with this, and uh, he's not going to be able to attack over Raigeki. Oh, dang it, I 
I gotta say, I did not expect to see that. Okay, well, Regeki is indeed Regeki. But uh, we'll see what he decides to go ahead and uh, go for over here. I'm surprised people still even play uh, Regeki with uh, the whole lightning storm coming out into the game as well. I guess I could have I could have technically equipped Roland too. That wouldn't have been that bad of a play. Just gonna go ahead and make uh... what? That's it? Why? I feel like it's like a very like weak. Uh, option as, as a play, right? Uh, but it does get that small boost, so I can go ahead and go for... Uh, I have a Mally play. I guess that other play to Crash is like kind of weak, but he's gonna be able to add a card back to his hand. Let's go ahead and activate uh, Dark Calling over here, and then we'll just pop and then deal some uh, some damage over here. So you can use this as material. I'm gonna keep Mally in here, because it's just another target that we have, and then adjust your gold. There we go. This card's fantastic. Just gonna go ahead and be able to pop the board here. Easy peasy. And then like only heroes can attack. I mean, I feel like he, he's got like really nothing else if he, if he really needs to add that. So I'll see you later. And uh... Well, I still have my normal. I, I don't think I have two of souls in here. Not that it really matters. Should we, should we do the Mally beatdown? Because only heroes can attack anyways. Yeah, we can go ahead and uh, equip it to him. Because this is already boosted up anyways. Attack with this. Ooh, you know what? Ah, this would be... You know, if I kept rolling in my hand, we could have made a game. Because this would be... Uh, 57? But I think we'll be okay anyways. But we'll see. We'll see. We'll, we'll give him one more chance. But yeah, if I, if I kept rolling in my hand, I was thinking like, okay, we can... We could super poly. Oh, we're getting tributed. We're getting kaiju? Oh, okay. We get kaiju. All right. No problem. No problem. But uh, I would say it, it's pretty rare to run into players that will actually play Regeki. So I'm not really too worried about it, but the, the the play turn one was still, I would say, relatively strong. And uh, Mally is still Mally. Uh He still is indeed a hero. So if he attacks over it, we've got options. And then I'll probably end up linking these off. Maybe pop in the back row? I don't know what back row you play in Dark Worlds. It's probably just going to be a uh, bluff over here anyways. He's going for that Bigfoot. But uh, Bigfoot's effect is negated due to call. Uh, I... Bad Yu-Gi-Oh players, man. I mean, uh, dude, you get those danger players. No reading cards, man. It's okay, I don't read either. But it's just to show you guys like how strong this deck is just because of the extra Mally. It actually makes a huge difference. Dark World Dealings, okay. Ooh. That card's too good, dude. It's too good. Oh, he's, he's, he's finally going off with his Dark World plays. There's that Young Gates. But generally, um, yeah, like, without Regeki, he wouldn't have been able to really do anything. But we'll see what he goes for. Gosh, did you not remember? The, is this guy just going to do this because he can't win? I really hate when players do that. <laughs> um, I mean, I think it's game now. I mean, he gave me a strong monster. Yo, we're going to go ahead and actually activate this. 
So we're gonna go ahead and uh, banish this, summon this. I guess we can, uh, oops, that's the wrong one. That's the wrong one. Go ahead as uh, Mally beat down cap. <laughs> I'm gonna beat you with the, with the Mally. Yo, Mally at three OP. No, I do not need to snatch steal that card. Dang, even with that, he was unable to do, do stuff. Okay, we're, we're beating him with the Mally. All right, boom, unless he, unless he got that battle fader. So it's Scarecrow Kappa. All right, so this card can negate all, all any effect. But uh, anyways, this is the new and updated banless hero deck. Now, I do want to mention, I do have some other tech in here that we didn't see, but it's really not that great. Um, the thing that I did want to mention though, is I was, I was gonna get gameplay of it, but I honestly feel like it's unnecessary, but I do technically have gameplay of it. Let me show you gameplay of it, actually. Uh, let's go ahead and go over it. So this is uh, this is showcasing off the potential of the, the pop-up. So my first turn one play wasn't that strong. And so what we were able to do um, the following turn is we had, oh gosh, Dark World. What, is this like the same guy? This is a different name. Anyways. Uh, see, what we're able to do with Perform All Pop-Up is actually reduce our life points uh, because we don't actually have those uh, Perform All Pal stuff. Or it, it's basically for Pendulums, but we, we use it to cycle through cards because there are a lot of cards that will get free benefits, uh, like Shadow Mist can get a benefit uh, off of the Graveyard, and I guess Nibiru is not so great sometimes when you draw into it and they don't play, if they're playing like anti-meta. I just, I can't play a deck without triple Nibiru right now. It's just like, it's it's too important. It's it's part of the philosophy of like, I hate going second in Yu-Gi-Oh when my opponent makes a board. And like, if I don't play triple copy, I'm just gonna be like salty about that. I also was thinking Phantasma. But Generation Next makes it so if your life points are lower than your opponents, which Hero Lives and New Perform Pop Pop Up will do, you basically get to cycle through your cards and then special summon another hero monster. And you can special summon a lot of the hero monsters that will get their effect later down the line. Like putting Shratos in the grave or putting Mali in the grave later down the line is so good. So Generation Next, and it's also a quick play, um, which is quite great. So you can prevent yourself also from getting OTK. So you can you can just set this card and uh, pass, and again later down the line you'll use that monster effect. So this basically just lets you uh, do a combo extension. So like the first gameplay that you saw, which we en ended up with like a. A uh, three negate Apollosa, you can turn it into a four negate Apollosa or Apollosa and number 70. And if you play the uh, cycling card that's uh, it's for the equip, you could make number 60, draw two, and then search one card, and then not have any downside of the continuous uh, spell that's supposed to be for the equip deck. But honestly, I don't feel like that necessary. So, pretty much uh, in this instance over here, we, we went ahead and actually made a. Uh, a dark we use dark calling and you guys can see that you can do this um instead you could go for apollo so with three negates and then have this but like i honestly prefer shadow well i could have went three negates with this and this card protects everything and at this point uh, it was pretty much game ogre there wasn't really too many other things that i wanted to talk about but i just wanted to mention that the perform pop pop up uh, it, it, it's a usable card in this deck because a lot of the equip spells don't really do too much really in your hand uh, Curse Bamboo Sword was giving us Pot of Greed, and then this card you can get rid of anyway. So this card's a plus, this card's a plus, um, Shadow Mist is a plus, this is a plus, Stratus is a plus in the grave. Uh, so there's a lot of other cards that can be plus. I guess technically with this card, uh, during the end phase, if this card was in the grave because it was sent there this turn, you get to just search out this or any equip spell, which can actually be one of your copies of... Well, you would search this off of your first copy of a, a Sold, and then you go ahead and activate this effect to search out uh, the Equip, and then you still get Pot of Greed. You can technically utilize it twice if you want to, uh, but technically you only need to equip one, and you can search out this again, if that makes sense. But anyways, uh, onwards with the new updated Bandless God Hero uh, deck, because yo, Super Poly is so good, man. Uh, triple copy of Gear Freedom, one copy of Honest News, three copies of Mali, one Adjuster Gold, uh, three copies of Stratus, new Bandless. Uh, changes are going to be this and this. Uh, then we got three copies of Solid Man, two copies of Shadow Mist, three copies of Vion, two copies of the Butter Spry. Uh, then one of each of the Hand Traps. Honestly, it doesn't really matter. I just played a variety, just in case I wanted to make a one specific one, which is Super Poly. Uh, then a Veiler. Yeah, like I said, well, one copy of all the Hand Traps. Then we got uh, Instant Fusion, Hero Lives, uh, Dark Calling, Reinforcement Army, two copies of Golden. Uh, honestly, you could probably drop it down to one if you want to, but you know, I'd be getting this so much more consistently with like the whole like rolling thing. It just makes it so much easier just to pot agree twice. And then we have a Perform Pal Pop Up. Uh, I'm playing three of these. Honestly, you could drop the three of these. To be honest, like if I was a, to, to make this deck more competitive, uh, this was for content. All right, and it technically is good if you can open up with both 
then it becomes great, and you have to discard the right cards, a little bit of RNG. You can make this a really easy 40 card deck. You probably don't need three and two of these. This is also for content, technically. Uh, but, uh, anyways, uh, yeah, three uh, call, because you need to go for that sold turn one. Plus, this is an excellent card, and if you're playing against a player that's trying to activate the Dark Hole effects 50 different times, one. <laughs> Uh, not Dark World, the Danger Effect. Uh, and then three copies of Super Poly, and then uh, one one uh, Power, one Moon Mirror, Phoenix Blade. Yeah, I, I could mention before, like, I know he had Dark Hole, but like, Moon Mirror Shield on Apollosa is quite dirty, uh, especially if you can somehow negate this card's effect and then basically reset it, potentially. It can be good for that. Uh, but it's just good, it just even survive there can be useful. And then um, Living Fossil, Broken Bamboo, Cursed Bamboo, two of those, and then Three Cops and Biru, and Lightning Storm, Roland. The, the, the last five cards are pretty much, like, you could swap these in and out if you wanted to. Honestly, I just like Nibiru too much. And then for the next track, Malicious Bane, Dion, Starving Venom, Anki, Nova Master, basically all the targets for Super Poly because it's heroes. And then this, dude, that is the MVP. I'm honestly thinking about if I was going to run that card, that makes it so, like, when your life points are lower. The most important integers to actually hit is actually 800. Uh, because that lets you just go for Mali. Uh, and, or I mean, technically a thousand will let you also go for, well, the card is, um, uh, what is it? The card, it's, uh, where is it? You take one elemental hero monster, uh, whose attack is less than or equal to the difference. So, technically with Instant Fusion, that will allow you to go for, a uh, Shadow Mist. And then, when Shadow Mist goes to grave, you'll get that effect, because it only negates it until the end of the turn anyways. Which you're just going to utilize it for, of course, fodder for, uh, the other card, but uh, I'm playing number 60. This is more for the other, uh, it's a continuous card that makes, so instead of during your normal draw phase, you can add like an equip uh, instead of like your normal draw phase, which usually just becomes Pot of Greed. So you basically get this Pot of Greed, then you Pot of Greed them twice with the Golden Bamboos, like whatever card you need. Uh, but this card's great. Uh, and then a Sold. Honestly, I, 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 I thought about adding two a Sold because just being able to add that extra war is actually pretty strong. And there's some times where I feel like it's not that bad, but most of the times, if you're doing that, like you messed up somewhere and you should OTK them. But uh, I easily want to say this deck could become a uh, a 40 card deck. I would drop these for sure. Again, those created there for content. Honestly, do you need three cards in the mirror and two cards of Lightning Storm? Probably not. I mean, you got three Stratos, and that can can still pop the back row if you're really worried about any back row oriented decks. But to be honest, I'm not too afraid of those. Um, but I can I could say easily like 45 cards because again, remember you're gonna send five cards with the effect of um, I'm sorry, it's uh, a soul adds one, then you send four, then Shadow Mist is summoned, and you're cycling through like 70 cards with just one card. It's it's pretty fast. I like it. But anyways, if you guys have suggestions for the new God Hero deck, utilizing that new ban list, Triple Mally, Triple Stratos, it's good, man. But also want to mention one thing. I honestly feel like I could drop Honest Neos. Honestly. Okay, no, that was not intended. But I think I could drop this card simply because um, a lot of times instead of adding this with like Stratos or going for the add with Shadow Mist, uh, I'm adding this card instead simply because this card will then let me add God Phoenix Gear Free, plus it does boost up anything by 500. So I like that for that specific reason, but I also like it because it's a level 1, which if I have to with a soul and I have to have a really bad hand, I can still go ahead and special summon it, just leave it there, and then eventually just get the free plus off of it. Um, in the off chance that you draw, like, you know, so many equips, but I'm actually playing quite a bit here. I believe for the equips here, uh, we are playing 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7... 70 equips, I think we're okay uh, on getting, you know, unless you open up with like 4 or 5 at that point, you're probably losing anyways, and you should have played Magical Mallet. But anyways, thanks for watching, guys. Hopefully you enjoyed the video. If you did, drop a like on it. If you're new here, hit the subscribe button. Turn on that bell if you want to see more Yu-Gi-Oh! content. And if you guys want any suggestions to make this deck better, let me know in the comment section below. Thanks for watching, and peace.